Hello YouTube, it is Katie and welcome to another video. Today we are doing something just a teeny tiny little bit different. It's a voiceover recording while I just sit and chat with you guys and I hope that that's okay. So what you're seeing a recording of right now is actually me editing a video that's going to go up in a few days. It is the vlog that got stuck on my camera at towards the very end of my uploading for the first 30 days of August challenge. It was very annoying because I was doing well in the challenge and I actually was going to finish it. Like, I genuinely was going to get my full 30 days. I was even considering doing a video on August 31st. <laughs> like, you were going to get videos. I was really going to do it, but, you know, <laughs> technology didn't like me, so I lost out on those last few days. But you know what? I consider it a challenge successful because I had a plan to complete it. I was working on it. I worked really, really hard all month. So we're going to call that, we're just going to say upload it every day for the first 30 days of August. We're just going to say that that's what happened because that's like basically what happened. <laughs> um, but you're seeing me edit this video and you might be looking at the software like, hmm, what program is this? I'm not familiar. It's Premiere Pro, baby girl. Yeah, so you're moving up in the world. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys my editing before, but prior to this moment that you are seeing, I literally just did this before pressing record on this video right here. Prior to this moment, I had only ever edited anything in Windows Movie Maker, which is so tragic. I used iMovie for one video, but it was iMovie on iPad, okay? It, we, I was, my, my videos and my editing process was living in filth and squalor. I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she was struggling, but. <laughs> I've been working on leveling up my channel. I did my August everyday uploads to try and up my watch time, my views, maybe get some new impressions, find some new people. So we did that. Then I've gotten Premiere Pro to up my editing game and finally be able to do the comedic zoom effects that I want to do. Now, this is something that I have to get good at. You know, the first video I edit in Premiere Pro isn't automatically going to be on best dressed Ashley levels of editing because it's the first thing I've ever done. This is literally my first time opening the program. I edited my Lion King review from way back when in After Effects and I'm like good at After Effects. So I have experience with the kind of style of Premiere Pro, but generally this is my first time using it and I don't know any of the advanced effects like, you know, green screening or anything like that. Pretty much all I have is the zoom in position and then like, you know, putting clips, cutting clips, moving clips around, doing audio, having multiple layers. It's so nice to have multiple layers. I had to use it in this video. I, I put, uh, there's a video and then at the end it shows some pictures while I'm still talking. It's so nice finally having multiple layers. <sighs> it was just, it was, it was a dream. It was a dream. The video is actually exporting right now as we speak. So I hope you guys are ready to see that one. It's coming out in a few days. It's going to be exciting. Um, yes. <laughs> so I got Premiere Pro to try and get my channel, you know, moving forward. Just keep on, keep heading down the right path. Another thing that I got is a new microphone. I'm using an Aver Media microphone and I actually did not get this for myself by myself. A lovely subscriber by the name of Liz sent me this microphone free of charge, total generous, ge totally out of the generosity of, I'm assuming her, sweet heart. And for that, I have to say thank you. Let's all have a round of applause for Liz. Round of applause for Liz. I know you're not clapping. I'll keep, I'll clap for both of us. Don't worry. Don't you worry, sheep guys. <laughs> this mic is really great. Um, there's a really bright blue light from it that says like, hey, the mic is working. That light, blinding. Other than that, perfection. <laughs> it comes with a stand. The cord is new and fresh. Like, I feel like this mic is, is fresh out the store. It's really, really awesome. The audio quality is great. And I really appreciate you for sending this to me, Liz. You didn't have to do it. But you did, and I thank you so heavily for that. Thank you so much. And I was just really excited about this mic existing. So I decided to film this sort of like podcasty, sit down, chit chat, TikTok kind of update video because, um, you know, when I got the idea for this, my camera still wasn't working. So I was like, well, what else am I going to do? And because I was just excited to use this mic, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> so guys, please let me know in the comments down below if the audio quality with this mic is much, much better than anything that you have heard previously in my videos. If it's, you know, the right volume and things. I've been trying to work on volume mixing because um, I've had people say that the, the videos are too quiet. So I've tried to work on amplifying it, but it doesn't sound too quiet on my computer, my like my devices. So it's the thing of like, I feel like I just have on rose colored goggles or I guess like rose colored AirPods when I listen to my videos because they sound fine to me and I want to amplify them so that you guys can hear me and everything is crystal clear, but I don't want it to be so loud that people are like, whoa, headphones, like chill, bitch. So I'm trying to find that happy balance of something that works for everybody without being too blinded by my own like approval, I guess, of what I'm making. And I don't think I'm like the best video editor, the best YouTuber by like a long shot. I've got a ways to go, darling. <laughs> I can't even compare at this point, but we'll get there. You know, we've got Premiere Pro now and I plan to keep experimenting with it and keep on seeing what I'm doing. By the way, if you are seeing at the beginning of like the editing process, if you're seeing me pause a lot and just not do anything for a couple of minutes, it's because I'm looking something up on my phone because there was something I didn't know how to do <laughs> and I hopped on the tube of you to figure it out. So that's what that is, baby girl. Um, Let me know also in the comments. So I've asked you now for multiple things in the comments. So you should be scrolling down to that comment section and typing me a comment, darling. Just as Liz has been doing as well. Like really Liz, just living it up on this channel. She's been leaving a lot of comments, which really helps my engagement, you guys. A lot of you have been leaving more comments, which has really helped me out. And um, we'll get to that in a second. Let me, let me see what I was gonna say, okay. Let me know also in the comments down below, do you like watching me edit over like discussion? Is this something you would want to see more of if I have like a specific topic to talk about rather than just a random update, you know? Okay, other thing I was gonna say. I recently uploaded that video that I said I was reluctant to upload and I really was, I genuinely was. <laughs> I did not think it would be well received at all. I just felt like I wanted to be honest. So that's why I uploaded it. And I felt like maybe someday in the future, I could go back and watch it and be like, ah, oh, you dumb bitch, why did you feel that way? Everything's fine now, chill. But actually the video was very well received. I got a lot of comments from you guys, a lot of discussion, like a lot of just, I don't know, talking with me and I appreciate it. And it was just nice to uh, get suggestions. I asked for suggestions in that video on how to make my videos better and what kinds of videos you guys wanted me to make. And I actually got a lot of suggestions. So I really appreciate that. By the way, this is a video of me talking about like, I think the title is like, let me actually look up the title for you guys. It was just me talking about how like my channel wasn't doing very well despite the fact that I had been uploading every day and I just wasn't really sure what was going on, what I was doing wrong and like what I wanted to do. It's called, I'm reluctant to upload this, my lack of growth on YouTube. And it, it did really well. So really thank you guys for being there and showing up for me on that video. I really appreciate it. And I am taking you guys' critiques and opinions and suggestions into my little mental bank, into my, my brain box, and I am putting them up for consideration. So I know the next vlog is uh, pretty much in line with what I had been creating because I recorded it before I made that, you know, I'm reluctant video. So it's, it's, a, in a, in a little, 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 <laughs> it's aligned, but I think moving forward, I have some great suggestions from you guys. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Um, as a matter of fact, one of the videos that was stuck on my camera was uh, me talking about Netflix's cuties, but it was kind of like just all over the place. And so I was thinking of just remaking it since this whole camera debacle had happened. But then I was like, well, is it old news by now? Generally on YouTube, if you don't get to something within the first day, then it's like, what's the point? I don't know. I'm not really sure. But I am planning to react to cuties when it comes out. I said that in the original video that I filmed, whether or not that gets uploaded, we'll see. I said that in that video. So I'm still going to be watching cuties and doing a reaction of some kind. Not sure if I'm gonna do like a review, like I did for the Lion King video, or a less in-depth review, 
or just a reaction kind of video. I've never done that before, so not sure. Not really sure, but we are going to be watching Cuties, so I am taking you guys' advice to like keep up with current events and do things that other YouTubers are doing. And like I, I just want to harp that you guys' comments were not for nothing, and I really appreciate you coming through on that video. Wow, talked about that for quite a while. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I just wanted to come on. I have a quick chat, update you guys about how I got my camera fixed. Yes. And now I was able to get this video that is being edited off of my camera and it will be on YouTube in a few days. I'm trying to figure out what my posting schedule is going to be like. I'm very busy right now um, because I'm new at work, because I'm training and there's a lot to learn in my department. They're trying to give me as many hours as possible for the first month, which I kind of like because, you know, money, coin, cheddar, you feel me? But I'm also kind of like, bro, I got stuff to do. Like, I, I, I really got a lot of stuff to do. I don't have time to be up in this job all day. But <laughs> it's okay. I like the job. It's fun. So it's not like I'm suffering all those, you know, six, seven, eight hour shifts. It's just like a lot. So I'm just trying to figure out how to do both work and school and have a boyfriend who I, you know, visit occasionally. Um... I would love it if I could work the gym in there somewhere too, but it just doesn't seem realistic. And I would say I don't have time for YouTube, but the thing is I actually like YouTube and unlike the gym, I don't have to pay for it and I can do it from the comfort of my own bedroom. So I really just don't see myself not uploading at all, but I'm trying to figure out if I want to try to commit to a schedule, even though I know I'm very, very busy and it's just... Oh, there's a lot on my plate right now, or if I just want to upload when inspiration sparks. But, like, I struggle with that because if I upload when inspiration sparks, like, say inspiration sparks and I record four videos, should I then upload all four the same day or the same week, or should I space them out and have a video each week so I have a month of videos there? I don't really know what to do, and I've never known what to do. I usually space it out, but I'm just like, I don't know, is that the best way to handle the situation i don't know child <laughs> um and i look at big youtubers like there's one guy ibsmo who i really like and he was a college youtuber but he's been out of like undergrad for a while so now he uploads like every couple of months you know six months upload six months upload eight months upload two months upload something like that but all of his uploads get like a pretty good amount of views like he's really out here and i'm just like wow is that like, can I just do that? I don't think I'm at that level yet, but will I ever get to that level where I can just make a video and then not upload for four months because I'm busy with school and then just make another video and everyone will still be here and it'll be chill? Are we there? <laughs> I don't think we're there, but yeah, I'm not sure what to do for an upload schedule. I was thinking twice a week, but that's unrealistic. And I was like, maybe once a week, but maybe even that's realistic, unrealistic. I might just do whatever inspiration sparks. As it has right now, it is... 11 59 p.m yep um i got off work today by the way i have to stand all day at my job and standing all day is something i'm not used to i've never had to do it at any of my other jobs and it's hard for me because a my feet just be hurting because i'm a whiny bitch but b i have scoliosis so my back be hurting as well <sighs> it's hard for me but i just went to walmart and i bought these shoes they are just like the most comfortable shoes and they're not even the ones I wanted the ones I wanted are ugly <laughs> they're the ones my mom wears and you know it said online that they were in stock in this specific store and I went and they were not in stock and the sales lady was looking at me like I was crazy she's like we haven't had those shoes in years and I'm like well babe tell it to the website but they had the same brand at least so I got some shoes from that brand and they're so comfy cozy and so now hopefully I'll be able to do my like you know, a little six hour shift without my back snapping in half, you know what I'm saying? But I am in pain. I have been in pain today because for some reason, my uterus is confused. Um, she seems to think that my period and ovulation are the same thing and that she can just act all kind of sideways just because I'm ovulating. No, babe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You have your allotted time once a month. This is not your time, sweetie. So let's, let's relax. Let's chill. Stop it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this video is just me rambling into a microphone, <laughs> but it's fun. It's really fun. And I was thinking, um, I was watching Nicole Rafi's podcast. Well, I guess I was listening to it. Um, 
And I was just thinking, like, what if I had a podcast? I don't have time for a podcast. I don't have enough ideas for a podcast. I don't have enough guests for a podcast. I don't have enough fans for a podcast. I have nothing for a podcast. But now that I have this mic, I'm just excited and I just want to talk into it. (laughs) Oh, maybe I'm high. (laughs) Maybe I'm drunk. I'm laughing a lot (laughs) over what? See, I cracked myself up and I'm very used to talking to myself. So this is all just flowing out. This is why I have a YouTube channel because I talk into the mirror entirely too much. So I was like, let me just turn on a camera and talk to that instead. (laughs) Oh man. But like someday I would like to have just more options and a, a bigger online presence. Having an online presence is kind of essential to just like, a lot of careers at this point, especially my field of, you know, arts animation, it's just kind of important to have an online presence and to have multiple streams of income is important for everyone, but especially when you're working these kinds of animation jobs where like, you know, uh, we need you to do character designs. And then once the character designs are done, your job just like ceases to exist. You weren't really fired. It's just like, there's nothing for you to do. So, oops. So you have a job for maybe like, I don't know, like six months, eight months. It depends on the project. But you have a job for a while, two years, whatever. And then you just don't. Yeah, it's important to have multiple streams of income with that. And I hope it's someday to be able to have a Patreon with, you know, a good amount of patrons. And to just be able to get by with that if things, you know, go awry. But I also hope to be able to do projects that are important to me. Like, I do my art. I do my animation. But I also write. And I've never been very public about my writing like I have my other stuff just because, like, I didn't go to college for it. So it it doesn't feel like, you know, I'm not in college for that. It doesn't feel like it's my specialty. But it is something that I've always been good at. I got into the gifted education program, I'm pretty sure, because of my writing. Ever since kindergarten, like, I I saw (laughs) an old paper (laughs) that I wrote in kindergarten. And my teacher wrote the note of, like, ah, she was the only student whose story had a beginning, middle, and end. So it's just something I've always been gifted at. And as I've gotten older, you know, teachers, professors, people have told me I'm good at it and I enjoy it. I have always liked just, you know, beginning, middle, end story. But recently I've come to also really appreciate poetry and just the the, the power that you can have in just like one line of text, just all the different ideas you can get across. So great. Especially I love lines with double meanings or I love um not so much slant rhymes but like creative creative rhymes like rhymes inside of a line I forget the words for these things at this point but (laughs) rhymes that are inside of a line or not so much rhymes but alliteration or assonance or consonants or something just the 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 repeating sounds poetry is (laughs) great get into poetry if you haven't I recommend Shakespearean sonnets or Paradise Lost Uh, They're kind of big reads. You might want to read it in like an English class instead of on your own, but they are great. My God, they are good stuff. Um, I said all that to say someday I want to be able to uh, write a book. I'm not sure if I want to do a poetry book or like a novel, a novella, a graphic novel. Not sure. I've actually already written a book. I wrote a novel. Um, It's on fanfic.net. It's, you know, it's just... I like writing (laughs) and I like Italia and, you know, put the two together. And before I know it, I had hundreds of thousands of words just sitting on a website. So (laughs) maybe someday I can really get it together and produce a genuine cohesive book. I would like to make a zine someday, which is just a book of artworks. I would love to make a zine and be able to sell it. Uh, I watch Mini Smalls and Frenard and they're always selling out of their art and just like watching them pack orders and ship stuff off to people. It just looks so fun and so fulfilling and just like knowing that people like your work and that you can share it with them and that they actually give a crap about it. That's kind of how that last video that I'm reluctant to upload this video, it's kind of how, that's kind of the feeling I got just from you guys being there. I've been talking for 20 minutes. I'm absolutely certain no one is listening at this point. <laughs> Uh, if you're still listening to me ramble about how I'm fucking Shakespeare, <laughs> then I don't know, comment down below and say blueberries because you like 
unless you're driving or eating or busy right now, I can't imagine someone just sitting here watching me edit and listening to me ramble for 20 whole minutes. <laughs> it's been really fun, though. Yeah, so dreams of writing a book. I feel like that was in, I had a video talking about like, oh, my 10 goals for the next, no, whatever, 10 years or whatever I said. Because I didn't want to say bucket list because that just sounds like things I want to do before I die. But it seems like once you write a bucket list, it should you shouldn't write another one. Like, I just feel like bucket lists are like, this is my life bucket list. But, you know, things change and I just don't want to staple myself to a bucket list right now. Where, like, when I'm 60, I might have completely different desires. Yeah, so I feel like um, having a book of some kind was in that video. It was my bucket list, 10 goals in 10 years travel that yeah that was the video title if you want to go and watch it um i feel like i discussed that in there that's all i was trying to say i rambled too much i rambled too much if only y'all could see how much of me just repeating myself slightly differently i cut out of my vlogs oh wait you're watching me do it right now i found that in premiere pro i was much more like cutthroat with my editing if that makes sense i was much more willing to just chop out stuff like I would be talking and I would just be like okay I feel like that phrase is done and then I would just cut the clip and delete the rest I wouldn't even listen to it I'd just be like no I think I was done talking and just cut it out <laughs> I'm a lot more willing to just get rid of all the stupid garbage that I say and that is great because I've been struggling to do that in Windows Movie Maker something about it just had me be like I don't want to cut this out they really need to hear about how I want to publish design in a book and a graphic novel. They need to hear this. It's important. I can't cut it out because then I'll never know. Ooh, I wonder if this microphone is like, like, what is it? An ASMR mic. Okay. We're going to, we're going to test out this microphone because I, <laughs> I haven't done that. Okay. Can you hear my fingers? I don't know if you can hear my fingers. I'm being very fingers right now now i'm to the left of this microphone if you can tell and now i'm moving over to the right side of the microphone and of course i have to try coming up to the top of the microphone i don't think it's an asmr mic but just in case now we know and now we found out together okay it's been 22 minutes and i've said nothing um yeah uh okay camera fixed videos will come do not have an upload schedule, although I wish I could have one. I'm just too busy and I'm sorry. Someday I want to be a famous internet, not necessarily famous, but I want to have enough internet followers to be able to make a bit of a living off the internet and just share more of the things that I like and love to do with people because that makes me happy. The world is in flames right now, specifically for black people. I'm not going to get too deep into it because... It's just a lot for me and I don't want to, but Chadwick Boseman made me feel like kind of half of what I felt when, um, gosh, Kobe Bryant died and that was a lot for me. I don't think it was as much for Chadwick just because I had already processed Kobe and I was just kind of like, you know, we've been here before, but it's, yeah, um, wow, okay, I've been talking about this for two seconds, and I'm getting emotional, so, like I said, not getting into it, but it's a lot, the world is in flames for multiple reasons, so many reasons, endless reasons, countless reasons, and no matter how many protests I go to, and how much rioting we do, and how much legislation gets passed, we'll never be able to fix this world, and that sucks, so at least let me make pretty pictures, and write silly words, and Maybe that can make someone happy in the, the disparity that is this planet. Um, yeah, <laughs> graduating in December, kind of want to move out of the country, kind of want to just go to Atlanta and work, don't really know what I want to do. I'm kind of just going to apply to jobs internationally and wherever I get a job is where I'm going to go because I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. So I'll just let companies decide for me. Ha <laughs> um, Any other updates? Thank you so much for your comments on all of my videos throughout throughout August. Thank you for being there. I really loved uploading every day in August. I've been considering doing Vlogtober. I don't know if I will be free enough for it because December is when finals are. I'm not sure, we will see. If I do have enough free time, maybe expect a Vlogtober, not a Vlogtober, a Vlogmas, that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe expect a Vlogmas from me, but I don't know. But I really enjoyed 
August. It was really hard, but it was also really, really fun. And thank you guys for making it so fun. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for leaving comments. Thank you for subscribing, liking, watching. Just thanks. Like, it was a great time. And I hope you guys had a great time too. I hope you were entertained throughout August. And I hope that um, y you've had some nice content to get the school year started off with you. You know what I'm saying? I really hope you liked it because I did a lot. There will be more vlogs from me because I enjoyed filming vlogs. And just with all the school stuff I'm doing and starting a new job and everything. I feel like I'm really busy now. And it's hard to film vlogs when you're not busy. Hence, like summer, there weren't a lot. But I like vlogs and I want to get back into it, so let's do it. Also, I find that a lot of YouTube commentary channels just don't know what to talk about. So if channels that are dedicated to commentary can't think of anything to sit down and talk about, I don't know how I could. Um, I believe that is it for updates. I really didn't have a list of things I wanted to say. So, you know, that was just straight off the dome. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, mostly listening, I would hope. I would not hope. I would suppose. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank you for listening. Please let me know down in the comments below anything that you want to let me know. I just want to hear you talk. I just like, it doesn't even have to be related to this video. You just go down there and be like, dude, I dropped my waffle. My day sucks. And you know, that would suck. But I would send you a nice message. And hopefully it would make you feel better about losing your waffle or whatever you want to say. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, 26, well, I guess it'll be like 28 minutes by the time I'm done blabbing. This, you know, nearly 30 minute long video of absolute nonsense. Let's all give another round of applause for Liz. I need to see you guys in those comments giving Liz some love because none of this could have happened without her. Um, and thank you for being here for with me in August. I will see you guys in September and moving forward. Maybe not so much every day, but I'll still see you guys. Thank you for watching. Click on some of my links that are appearing in the screen now. Uh, I love you guys. That feels weird to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. Love you guys. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Until then, toodaloo.